A Candler man is behind bars charged with kidnapping and raping a woman. Deputies say Zachary Killinger also violated a judge's protective order to stay away from her. News 13 Cheryl Barber was in the courtroom as a judge read a list of charges against him. And Cheryl, the victim managed to escape Killinger. Deputies say when she escaped from Killinger's home, she ran to the closest safe place she could go, and that was her neighborhood fire department. What's your name, sir? Deputies say Zachary Killinger, seen here making a video appearance from the Buncombe County Jail, had orders to have no contact with the victim. But deputies say he instead went to her home last Thursday and forced her to go to his residence here on Pisgah View Drive. They say on Friday night he raped her. After her kidnapping and attack, deputies say she managed to escape Killinger early Friday morning and ran about a mile to the Upper Hominy Fire Department. A firefighter was stationed at the building. He was awakened at approximately 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. with a, We have a door box at the front door, and uh, someone activated the door box, which rings the phones in the building. Assistant Chief Brian Warren says fire departments stand as safe houses for people with emergencies. He says it's part of the job to help the community in any way, and this is one extreme example. He was very cautious about coming to the door at that time of the morning, but uh, got to the door, realized it was a, a true incident, uh, let the lady in and then contacted law enforcement. Deputies arrested Killinger. Today, the judge read the list of charges, including second-degree rape, second-degree sexual offense, first-degree kidnapping, a protective order violation, a pretrial release violation, and other charges from previous alleged crimes. The judge told Killinger he faces a maximum of more than 60 years in prison if he's convicted of all these charges. Killinger is being held in the Buckham County Jail under $675,000 bond. His next court appearance is scheduled for October 1st. Reporting live in Asheville, I'm Cheryl Barber, News 13.